Good day, viewers. I am Mr. Newaka. Welcome to our first program for Grade 9 History Lesson. Today we are going to have um, a lesson about having pride, love, and loyalty towards your country or your continent that cuts across the distinctive culture, language, and customs of Mother Africa, namely African nationalism. And here are our specific objectives. Define the term African nationalism. Describe the factors that contributed to the rise of African nationalism. African nationalism expressed the desire to form an independent United State free from any form of colonial rule. Factors st which stimulated the development of African nationalism. First one, the Second World War. Many African states took part in the Second World War. African soldiers learned a lot from the war in India and Burma. They learned how nationalist movement had forced the British government to promise self-government. Many African soldiers fought alongside with white soldiers who treated them as equals. Those experiences of the world outside Africa made African soldiers more self-confident and aware of their rights as human beings. Second, the United Nations or the formation of UN. In 1945, world opinion regarding the acceptability of colonialism changed. The UN replaced the League of Nations. Powerful members of the UN USSR and USA were strongly opposed to colonialism. The UN Charter stated that all people of the world had the right to choose who should govern them. This concept of self-determination inspired Africans to fight for their independence. The third factor, the Sixth Pan-African Congress of 1945. In 1945, Sixth Pan-African Congress was held in Manchester in England. They discussed new demands for African independence, which was attended by 100 people. At this Congress, people, especially colonial workers, were encouraged to fight for their independence. Third factor, Britain and its colonies. In 1945, many changes took place in Britain. Socialist government won the general elections, Britain was exhausted by the Second World War, facing an economic and social crisis. All those forces, both internal and external, political and economical, led to the breakup of the British Empire. Colonies achieved self-government. Example, in 1947, British government gave independence to India and Pakistan. In 1957, it gave independence to Ghana, which now made Ghana to be the first African country to be independent under the leadership of Kwame Nkrumah. Soon, many African countries won their independence. Now that we have come to the end of our lesson, let us have a recap on what we have learned. We learned to define the term African nationalism. It was the desire of the African leaders to form independent states that were free from any form of colonialism, or it can also be defined as the feelings of love and loyalty by Africans towards their own countries or continent and people, or the desire to govern themselves. We also learned to describe the factors that contributed to the rise of African nationalism. First factor, World War II. African fought alongside European soldiers. They were treated as, uh, as equals of white soldiers and were inspired by seeing how people were willing to die for their countries. Second uh, factor is uh, Britain and France. Those countries had many colonies in Africa. They were exhausted after the Second World War and did not have the energy or money to spend on resistance war in their colonies. Third, the formation of UN. UN was formed after World War II. It specified that any nation had the right to become independent if it wished to do so. This inspired Africans to fight for their independence. Lastly, Pan-Africanism. Various Pan-African conferences were held. 
After the 6th Pan-African Congress in 1945, the movement for self-government gained momentum. Today's homework, which says, name and explain two factors that stimulated the development of African nationalism. Four marks. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. Please take care until we meet again.